Never thought I'd see the day where Arch Nemesis Protos was $100. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button so we can climb even higher. The 1400 ladder, look at this drop, $5, and then the power level just explodes like we're in Dragon Ball or Jujutsu Kaisen. That's what happened. Arch Nemesis Protos hit a black flash, and now he's at $100. <laughs> so that's just direct through TCG Player, obviously, but... Um, it's 40, $5 shipping, 40, mod play 50, light play 50, 50, 50, 50. What do these things cap out at? Probably like over $100. This thing needs a reprint. I'm thinking maybe Rarity Collection 2. Yeah, it's over $100. Probably Rarity Collection 2 will get a reprint. But yes, welcome to Market Watch. Um, not even a minute in. Um, Etco is notoriously expensive. Uh, this is actually where we got the Effect Baylor Starlight and the Ghost Mourner Starlight. But I figured that I would go ahead and do a market watch just to talk about what's going on um, investment-wise. Your boy has made a lot of money. We're actually going to talk about that in a separate video. Spoiler alert, it's um, basically over $10,000. So we uh, we kind of are making a boo-boo stain right now. But uh, let's look at these prices here. Now that the balance has had time to come on through and the market has kind of settled down a little bit, I wanted to look at the prices of everything here. So... Of course, Eternity Code being super expensive. Boxes are $210. Uh, Ghost Mourners are $200. Chamber Dragon Maids, $235. I kind of want to mess around with Dragon Maids in uh, Dragon Link Tempi, but I don't think it's going to be all that good. Nemesis Corridor is $12. Also, I think I have... Yes, I have the Nemesis stuff here. Nemesis Flag is uh, $4. You may want to pick this up. Um, Nemesis Corridor... Like I said, is 11. Um, this card basically helps you get to Protos. You can target one of your banished monsters except Nemesis Corridor. Special summon this card from your hand if you do shuffle that target into the deck. You can target one of your banished Nemesis monsters except Corridor, add it to your hand. Um, Arch Nemesis Protos is a Nemesis monster, so keep that in mind. Very interesting that there's that interaction. Um, but we're looking at basically 10 to $12. I don't know why people buy in three of these. feel like it's a one of, yeah, like 11 and $12. I would let this settle down. Maybe pick them up. I would say pick up the Nemesis flag instead, at least for the time being. I want to talk about anti-spell now that it's at one. Now that it's at one, if you need an anti-spell, honestly, go for the Power of Chaos Yugi the Destiny one. I remember having this years ago. Damage is five. Uh, mods are like around $10, $11. If you look at the light plays, though. Light plays are, uh, well, not this one. This person can't ship a card worth their life. Um, you're looking at basically $14 to $15. And then if you want a near mint, uh, if we get rid of the light plays here, uh, near mints, uh, you're looking at 16 That's not bad for a one-of, especially because this, uh, they weren't called Prismatic Secret Rares back in the day, but this is basically an old-school version of Prismatic Secret Rare. And I remember having this card, because I actually remember buying the PC game with my dad. I think it was, like, at Target. And um, the game was kind of cool for its time, but the anti-spells are freaking gorgeous. Like, go on YouTube and look at someone showing off an anti-spell. If you need an anti-spell for a one-off, just get this Prismatic one. Like, it's only going to go up over time, and it really is gorgeous. What's going on back here in Power of Chaos? Um, well, these have held up well. If you want a nice-looking Dark Magician, they're only 35 This is, of course, nothing. This is actually $6. That's surprising. And this Karibo, huh, this is over $20. Really? 35 for near mint. Wow. That's right. I have my filter on. I forgot about that. Let me reset the filters. Um, $20 for a heavy play. I mean, this is the only way to get this version of Karibo. Huh. Well, there you go. The more you know, Sugar Boo Bear. Uh, I want to look up Thunder Dragon stuff in general. Obviously, Arm Dragon stuff doesn't matter. But $20 on Darks. 14s on the original Secret Rare Colossus. Uh, of course, 75 to 80 bucks for the ulti. I mean, if you want to get a one of... I mean, I, I'm one to talk because I did the same thing with my Trident Dragon. I got it for 81 Now they're like 160 I think. We'll look at those in a second. $7 on regular Colossus. Um, super Rare regular Thunder Dragons are 3s. The Ultras are 11s. The Ultras do look kind of nice. Um... Thunder Dragon Roar is 7, Titans are 4s, Common Thunder Dragon out of the Metal Raiders, 25th Anniversary, only $1.60, Dragon Matrix are 2s, Ultra Rare Roars are 5s. Um, there's nothing super expensive back here. Uh, I actually want to look up Trident Dragon Ultimate Rare. Mine is an Unlimb, but it's it's like it's light play. I was looking at it the other day, and it's got a little bit of a nick on it. Uh, 170 for a near mint. Are light plays gone? Seriously? Uh, wow. Only near mints. Wow. 170. They were like 160. They're approaching the two over $200 mark. Um, woo. If you wanted to play Tempai, you would have, you should have already gotten in on these things like five minutes ago. 
Uh, I can't even find the other versions on here. Oh, because, oh, well, here it is. Yeah, it's over $100. Okay, so the Ultra got bought out. We're looking at uh, $105 for light play, $120 for near mint. This needs a reprint so bad. This needs a reprint worse than I need a girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, secrets, psh, you're paying $100. Yup, that's how the cookie crumbles, sugar boo bear. Uh, yeah, that's... Sheesh. Yeah, I'm so glad I got mine for $82. Uh, chicken game, speaking of which, uh, you're looking at... The, these were like $6 at their peak. They're like 3 to $4 now. It's nothing terrible. It's a one of. Basically, if you play this with pseudo space plus three uh, upstart goblin, your deck is in theory playing 35 cards. You probably also lose to drone lockbird. Um, so do keep that in mind. I mean, I get it's at three. If they're playing three of it, you got a 33% chance to see it. But you know that that's something to keep in mind. Clash of Rebellion is actually kind of interesting here. $475 on sealed boxes. I'm not saying you should, but like it's honestly not a bad investment. Red eyes. Um, Flare medals actually aren't too bad at like 35. Ultimate rare Archfiend Black Skulls are eight dollars. It's probably damaged, but still, that's funny to see. Um, Blackstone of Legends secrets are 16. The set was kind of ass if you think about it. Like besides the Infernoid stuff, um, Secret Rare Stormings are eights. So that's just because of stun. Like no, uh, that's right. We got the Ignite stuff in here. There was like the Ignite FTK that was like super inconsistent and garbage you have the cosmos stuff in here too four dollars on farm girls a dollar on ultimate to Zulkin. yeah because that was when they still did the promos you could get like special editions that came with a uh it was two cards and you had the chance of getting one or the other that was probably what this was um black metal was a common wow Zhangxi magician i remember when this was a few dollars back in the day cosmo good witch wow tatsunoko is only 50 cent this set whoo this set takes me back, ladies and gentlemen. This was the Pepe days, aka PP One Touch. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, Mallies are thirty dollars for the uh, secret rare. Um, it doesn't even look that good, in my opinion. Damaged first for thirty. Ugh. Near mints for forty. Ugh. Oh my god, what do these things cap out at? Over forty dollars. That was an Italian for forty-two. I saw there. A hundred dollars it caps out at. It doesn't even look good. Like honestly. I think the, the Duelist Pack Astro Phoenix, I feel like this looks better, to be honest. By removing from play this card while it's in your graveyard, select one malicious from your deck and summon it. Uh, the good old days. $9 damage first, Ed. Uh, what's a man got to do for a... Uh, is the, Oh, there's no... Oh, yeah, there is near mints. How much are the near mints? Hit me with this. $30! That's not bad! If you really want a near mint, that's really not bad. I mean, granted, it's a 3 of, but you could also get a light play. As my parents clap for the dog shit baseball game on. Uh, yeah, $20 for a light play. Like, that's not terrible. That's really not terrible. Um, anyway, rounding this off here, I like to look at, like, what's going on just in Yu-Gi-Oh! sales in general. Uh, the Kaiba briefcase, you remember we invested it. These things have shot up from $500 to $1,100 and now $1,200. These things are getting bought out. Mask Rainers are over $500. Um... Is this really only $20 or no? There's no way that this first edition will be. Oh, it's Portuguese. Okay, so it's worthless. Um, let's see. Crossroads of Chaos boxes are $700. Uh, SP Little Knights, $457, $300 for the Shining Dragon. That's kind of stayed there. <laughs> Blue Eyes Ultra Pharaoh's rares are bought out. Okay. Um, we got to see what's going on with the Kaiba briefcase. We've made so much money on this. These have held line. These were at like $500 for a while. These are back down. $300, $450, $1,000. Then it's $1, these are being bought at $250. This is a $300 card in a full-on deck, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, Attack Guidance Armor is 90, Trick Mirror 50. We made so much money. And the thing is, I have this deck sealed. So my Blue Eyes is like in perfect near mint condition. Um, obviously, like I opened up the briefcase and stuff. But people are selling the uh, Blue Eyes on their own for like over $1,000. And this deck itself, with it being still sealed, you could sell for like easily like 1500 to 2000 dollars possibly maybe more like 1200 because this is basically a thousand on its own uh and they don't have the stainless steel god cards on here but it's crazy how the stuff falls off like everything is around like eight dollars like eight to ten at the lowest also this is the only way that you can get grappler in this set oh my god hit me with this grappler 25 then it shoots up to 35 they cap out at 40 bro people want their vanillas like Wow, we made so much money off of this. It's incredible. Uh, what are the 25th anniversary stuff? As I tippity-type away. 
Uh, let's see how our boxes are doing. 110, we got it for 90. Um, Spell Ruler 65, that's good. Metal Raider 74. Invasion of Chaos 47, that's that's fine. That's held around. Pharaoh's Servant has held around the $40 mark. It's really not that expensive. It's not that great of a set, honestly. Yeah, even the rarity collection stuff, even though stuff was hit, it's still holding the line. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about the market. Um, yeah, if you if you wanted to play Tempai, you you got in five minutes ago, pimp. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.